we're seen in, and we are completely offset. Awesome. Well, it's all right. We're just going to pretend that's working fine. So, uh, first things first, is we can now grab objects using the right hand trigger button. So, with that, there's a ton of stuff we can do with that. But I'm going to get back to that. So, we can still uh, using the uh, button number two and the left hand trigger button. Basically, right hand interact with scene, left hand either interact with the person or modify what you're doing with the scene. That's kind of just my, my general theme so far here. So, um, you know, we can float around, um, we can still draw item or draw our lines. That was the cool part of the last demo. Um, so now we can drag things around and move things. So um, using the left hand, while we're dragging something around, uh, we can hit the bumper button, which is right above the trigger if you haven't seen it yet, and start placing stuff in scene. Um, there's, a, there's a little kind of trigger volume surrounding your hand that is what picks things up. So um, we have kinematics on or off so as we're dragging this thing around we can you know just make kind of weird copies of this I don't know it's like that um, but also we can do with button number one on the left hand is toggle whether it something has gravity affecting it or not so let's say this guy can drop it so Alright, so that makes for a couple of fun things you can do, which may or may not be obvious. So I'm going to grab this guy here and just start making a, you know, just a, a little funky path for us to follow along. So now we can start kind of world building ourselves here which is actually pretty cool. So, now I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, take a look at that in space here. So we've basically built this, this you know, funky path. Alright, awesome. Um, another cool thing you can do with this is if you grab onto the front of this thing, um, next thing you know, basing on how high it is or how low it is, you're basically flying. So we have a little magic carpet ride, which is pretty cool. So uh, it's a little touchy at first, um, and this was really something I found completely by accident. So um, this is a little, this one can be a little disorienting. So, but it is pretty fun to check out. Um, oops. So. Now, other stuff. I made pretty much everything in this scene is completely movable, which is quite insane. Like, we can take our roof up some. Let's go up even further. And look around here. And really start to tear this place apart. Um, I'm using this object's a little slow, but, you know, as you can see, this is actually, it's uh, quite a bit of fun. So, uh, other thing I noticed, which is just a, a bug on my part, but I'm, I might keep it because it's cool. So with the movement, if you let go of the trigger first, you will fall. If you let go of the button first, you just stay right there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, oh, I put a little... little help thing in the scene too so you can remember it. Um, but yeah, just have to make some weird stuff. But dude, that's fun. Check it out. Um, awesome. Let me know what you think. Bye.